wow, there are just so many cool armor sets in Elden Ring that it is difficult to make videos for every single one of them. Anyways, this is what I found short after the release, the Clean Rot armor set. I think it looks really cool. And in this short guide, I'm going to show you exactly where you can get your hands on it as quick as possible with a pretty efficient farm. So guys, let's get right to it. Alright, so for this armor set, you want to travel to Kalit, to the Ionia Swamp Shore. Exactly right there. Alright, so here we are in Kalit. Let's quickly get to the beach. And um, as you can see, we have a pretty big Scarlet Rod Swamp right here. Which is a problem if you have to uh, farm from mobs. So basically, if we stand in here, you can see that uh, the Scarlet Rod buildup is going pretty fast. And if you roll, it goes even faster. I definitely don't recommend you to do this. If the slider goes all the way to the right, you will start taking a lot of damage over time. So I definitely recommend you to first get your hands on Flame Cleanse Me. This incantation works like a charm to cure all the diseases. All poison, all scarlet rot will make this farm a lot easier. My video for it is in the top right of the screen, a pretty useful guide. Anyways, if you already got your hands on this or don't want to work with it, it is also possible without it. Just makes it a little bit more complicated. So basically, this place is filled with clean rot knights. Most of them are just hidden from plain sides because they are purely submerged in the swamp. You only have to search for them. And basically, sometimes you see pieces of armor sticking out of the swamp. For example, exactly right here. And if we walk a little bit more to the front, you can see that um, it is emerging. And right now what you want to do is charge an attack and strike him by surprise. Because this is the easiest way to take down these bad boys. Because sometimes they have a pretty tricky skill set of abilities that can be a pain. Especially if you're also dealing with the Scarlet Rod at the same time. If you are taking them down quickly, of course, you can see that the Scarlet Rod will go away. It will fade when you stand on dry land once again. But um, the Flame Cleanse Me Incantation is going to be a lot handier if you want to fire for these bad boys until you get your hands on the full set. What's really nice is that they always spawn on exactly the same location. So I marked every single one of them on the map, or while there are probably even more that I don't know of, but this is already enough to start farming. So um, very close to Ionia Swamp Shore, we have a very first one right there. Then we have two more very close to it and even more. So you can just kill a couple of those, travel back to Ionia Swamp with a quick travel, then they will all respawn and you can rinse and repeat this. So you don't really have to focus on the Scarlet Rod Bow Building up or dodging attacks while you're in the swamp will make it super easy to get your hands on the full set. I think the best way to deal with them is run towards them with torrent, dismount, use a leap attack and then swing your two-handed weapon to take them down because they simply have no chance of retaliating. But without doubt the easiest way to take them down is just wait for them to emerge from the swamp at their spawn locations which are always the same. So basically you're just gonna do a surprise attack, stagger them with multiple swings of a two-handed weapon and you will take them down in no time. What I think is also a really nice weapon for this is Bloodhound's Blade because you can uh, disengage from combat and then of course use your leap to get back to him with that very quick attack. I think it works very well. Once again, guys, copy-paste my map. I think it will make things a lot easier. But let's just quickly travel to Aeonia Swamp Shore, Site of Grace, and show you my farming route. All right, so here we are. Let's quickly hop on Torrent. And um, of course, if you marked the location of every single one of them, it's going to be so much easier. Because right now we see the skull on our compass in uh, the top of the screen. And this is already the first location. So basically, if you crouch... They don't seem to pop up, so definitely make sure you don't do that. Right now, if we're just standing, they're slowly emerging from the swamp. We're just gonna surprise him with a super attack, let's say. Strong attack, and then we're just gonna keep hitting him. And right now, the Scarlet Rod did build up because we were standing there for a while. So we can just use the Flame Cleanse Me Incantation and move on to the next one. Next one is exactly right here, only a couple clicks away pretty much. You also have messages of people sometimes saying like, hey guys, be careful, there are enemies right here. But um, what we're gonna do is once again exactly the same, just stand behind him, use a heavy attack, hit him a couple more times, stagger him, and bam, there he goes. Right now we got our hands on the Clean Rod Greaves, that's already our second part in this video. Right now, we're pretty much standing in the middle of the swamp, also the middle of my markings, but um, guys, they're literally everywhere. We've got one right there, 
There is another one right there. Uh, by the way, you also have a side of grace in the distance, which I haven't picked up yet. But um, as you can see right there in the distance, we have two more. And these are all casters. So you want to be careful for those. They are pretty easy to take down, as I already said. You just want to make sure you get to them as quick as possible. While I was recording, I managed to get my hands on two times the clean rod helmet and one piece of all the other armor parts. So basically the entire set while making this video. And of course, you can also get your hands on the weapons of these bad boys. So basically the clean rod knights were dropped two times, but you can also find the spear or javelin, I think, while farming for the ranged guys. But that is pretty much everything you need to know to get your hands on the full set. If you enjoyed watching this video, if it was useful, definitely make sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe because a lot more of these videos are coming your way right now it's 4am out i hope you guys have an awesome day till next time peace